All right, everyone. This is uh, part two of episode one of the Mi Minecraft story mode. Right now, it's connecting, and it's done. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all this. Hell no. Excuse my language, but not now. All right, go to here, and up to there. I can continue episode one. But when one story ends, another one begins. And this is where we ended, guys. Now to continue. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, um, you wouldn't have any I'll weapons or armor. Chicken-sized zombies. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them, crawling all over you <laughs> with their tiny hands. Okay. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So <laughs> I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't right. come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... It's not weird know, at all. Amateurs. It's not weird at all. Ruben is the best pet I could ask for. Obedient, loyal, and always happy to see me at the end of a long day. No friend. Absolutely. I should have said friend, not pet. Just like a man's best friend. Buy it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what, they think? what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> That's a good costume. <laughs> you guys totally freaked out. Now we're on. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig at Endercon. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. Uh, well... <laughs> As long as Ruben is happy, I'm happy. You don't have to happy. really wear a costume. I mean, if you well, go to convention like uh, anime, okay, you can wear style. an anime shirt or something. You definitely want the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. No Waiting on you guys. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. All right. Shears definitely. Yeah, I know. I'm seeing the. Be doing this, we, um, some sheep. we're doing this, but let's continue from where we ended last time. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. Okay, I'll take that along with me. Uh, let's take a look at bear real quick. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Maybe. Ah, who knows? <laughs> That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freak himself. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, Oh man, 
This would make up for all the losers. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. And here's what's funny. I'm He's calling awesome. this episode. It'd be amazing to meet him. Episode. Ruben uh, episode be one, part two. Costume. Last time Gabriel just saw the dragon, two. it didn't end well. <laughs> so, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, I yeah, believe my, uh, this is where we ended last time. It's right here. Exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. <laughs> yep. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, no not with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. Yeah, so how this is going to be We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared mm. of Enderman than creepers. Just a good point. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. <laughs> All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time okay. we've decided on something build a creeper now. the competition. I think we've got everything we need. It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. Yeah. Uh, team on, one, on three. Two, three. One, team. two, three. Team. <laughs> I called it one, three. I said one, two, three. Team. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, here we go. So we're getting started on getting the stuff we need. Oh, to keep her. <sighs> Look at her. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. There you Do an exercise. There you go. Yeah. There you go, team. know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Um, how does it even know that there's a pig in there? Lucas and the Ocelots, the rivalry continues. Man, this, my friends, is a competition. The and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail and look who it is, the punk. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, yeah. please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. Let's see. So much from losing anonymously. Ah. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa. Sounds like a name for pirates. What does it mean? Okay, Dead Enders. You guys are. <laughs> yeah. And here they come. Alright, let's see now. Hmm. Nope. 
Let's see, boot three. I don't like the look of this. Oh yeah, definitely not. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't uh -huh. just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is better. A creeper that shoots fireworks is cooler than a fancy light. Their <laughs> difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something Maybe. they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. Ooh. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what harm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. All right. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh, the Redstone Wrap. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. All right, let's go on with it. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. Just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was 80. The lava's getting closer. Ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. We've got to get Ruben. Oh. 
Oof. We're right behind you. Thank you very much. I don't see him anywhere, Reuben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Okay, now go find Where Ruben. are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm, there's no way Ruben made these on his own. For you. Where are you, buddy? Oh. Ruben, are you in there? Ruben's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Yeah. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. For some more walking, we gotta hurry back to town if we don't want to run into. Oh, there's the creepers. Ruben, run! <sighs> I think, I think we're good. I think we made it. Get back! Stay behind. 
behind me. I got you. Spider. You're gonna have to make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise. Get out of here now! Get off me. Yeah. Ah. Come on, let's get out of the open. That was freaky. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Hey, as long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow. Oh, what? Yeah. In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. What's in it for me? Respect, admiration, not getting punched in the face for saying that just now. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted. <laughs> you're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. I'll take it. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack. Okay. Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? <laughs> it's like this is...
Beam. Jesse, the lever's not gonna do you much good in a fight, is it? The, huh. Let's see the recipe. There you go. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? I made a sword. Alright. That was easy. Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! <sighs> Reverse. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. Woohoo! I think that's the right decision. Minecraft Story Mode. And that is the introduction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the end of the first episode or or what. Original game music by Huh. Oh! Burns, it burns! Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Okay. Huh, look at there. Let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's gotta be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared Night. of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We looked everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like a lot disappointed. Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing. 
but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. <laughs> Hurry, we're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark, dark, very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm, I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. And just who are you? Huh? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well, I'm with Petra. My deal is with her. Not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you asked for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed then. <laughs> I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Thank you, sir. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? Lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. What a nice little town. <laughs> there he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside! I have just one question! Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. Hmm. Interesting. What's up? What's up? Nothing? What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it had, you know, burned down or whatever. You guys deserve that win. Thanks for being so cool about it. It's not fair you had to deal with Aiden being an idiot. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, 
We're cool? Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Too cool for school. Coolness. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bad, that was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. And I'm busy right now, man. What, busy trying to get a life? I'm busy trying to find some friends? James. Hey. Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Lupin, is that you? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the boat. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Reuben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! Oh, really? Well, I found him out in the woods, so I think that makes him my pig. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> and I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Well, all I've got is this sword. Ooh, that's very nice. With this, I could cut my butchering time in half. Nice doing business with you. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I never should have let you run off in the woods. I think I found him. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! It's like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> <laughs> this might sound crazy, but we're actually on an important mission. I hope your mission came with tickets to the show, because, I mean, otherwise... Chicken! 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 It's gone. You're totally fine. You were totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? The show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. Look around and see if you can find anything. Shoot, shoot. Get out of here. Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. That's true. Hmm. What's this? I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I can reach that glass with a slime block. Again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here. Just slime balls. 
We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I need slime, and fast. But I just... Quickly, there's no time. Ugh, whatever. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Uh-huh. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry, sorry, just your regular, everyday chicken enthusiast here. Don't make me call security. Uh, just one more thing, ma'am. One more slime ball, please. I'm afraid not. If I break the rules for you, then I have to break them for everybody, and then I'll be out of slime completely. Sorry. Come on, please. Gotta find one more slime ball. <laughs> yeah, the question is, though, is where? Where are you gonna find a slime ball? Aha! Bingo! Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. There you go. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Power. My precious poultry. Even though I didn't make the jump, I still release the chickens. Now's our chance. Didn't perfectly time that jump, but at least I got the chickens out. Where'd he go? There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch it? There are a million ways to play this. I wouldn't mind a little payback. He deserves it for crossing Petra. You ready? Ready. See anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? It's like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you Look anything at all these potions. Wow. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I did say we wanted payback. No better payback than thieves.